Um, that is the uh, what we believe to be the fort site right over there. And that's where we've been spending all of our time digging. And there's another little hillside here across the ravine. You can see Todd up there digging. And there's a lot of rocks in here and we are digging some stuff. I don't, we don't know if this is gonna be fort related, but we're digging like crazy. And I wanna make a little video for you guys so you can see it. I suspect that this is gonna be uh, next later 1700s probably. I just dug a uh, 22 Magnum uh, rifle casing. But, you know, we're digging some stuff. Todd's got uh, some uh, a flat button or two. Let me quick video because we don't have a lot of time. So let me get back together. And again, we want to keep everything we find here separate from what's over there because they're probably two different sites, I suspect. And Todd said he got a button. So, I mean, that looks almost like it could be part of a spoon, but it might just be melted lead. We're going to work this area for about 15, 20 minutes. A lot of rocks. Um... So something was going on here. In fact, when I looked at uh, the maps, Google Earth and stuff, it uh, looked like there were something up. You could see the way the grass patterns were, that there's some type of structure. I thought it would be an Indian, like a prehistoric Indian camp, to be honest with you, but lead and buttons, maybe the fort's over here. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Give me a few minutes. I still kind of work in the hillside over here, and there's a nice piece of wrought iron. Looks really old. Don't know if this is going to be related to the... Uh, the fort over there but it might be this could be a, a home that was here before after or during um we just have to dig some more and see what we can find just a few feet from where we found the iron i just found a little tiny um handle to like a fork or a spoon it's made out of pewter now um let me tell you one thing we don't know if this area is related to the fort so we're going to keep all of our items separate from that um i kind of suspected there was like a a later home up here by looking at the maps uh, this looks like late 1700s that little spoon but I mean it could still be related to the fort but uh, we'll definitely keep everything separate I can absolutely promise you on that I just dug a piece of lead uh, I don't think it's melted but I think it's hammered out um, so still inconclusive as to whether or not this site and this is definitely a site is related to the fort or not we just don't know um, I have seen, I don't know if I showed you, but I have actually found several pieces of ceramics in here. Little tiny pieces of white ceramics that um, I have not found over there. I haven't found any of that over there. So that, I'm almost already starting to think this is a later site. Maybe the later 1700s. But we won't know until we really start to you know, get some more stuff out of the ground. Big concentration of iron in here. In fact, the soil is pretty black. So there was a fire here. So there might have been a cabin here and... 1810 that burned found the spoon down there and the soil is pretty black there too and it's starting to snow <laughs> let's get back to digging isn't that pretty up there see the cloud bank that's because the air is coming from across the well from the great lakes region across the country and it's hitting what we call the allegheny front which is the highest mountains that they they will hit before they go across the coast and it forces the air up makes clouds form and that's how we can get lake effect snow from the Great Lakes, where I live in Maryland, which is a long ways away from the lake. Uh, that's because the moisture laden clouds come along, they hit the Allegheny Front, which is right there, forces the, all the moisture up into the, up there and it condenses into clouds and keeps going, keeps going, and 100 miles that way, we still get snow. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? Well, enough of yapping, I got a signal here. Well, I got a target, I'm gonna show it to you. Have not picked it up yet, but I see it laying there. I think it's a nice button. I would guess. Tom back. Yep. Uh, pretty much what we were finding on the other side um, so far. We got some melted lead, some melted brass, tom back buttons. The only thing different is that little spoon handle and little white pieces of ceramic, which is kind of worrying me a little bit, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll keep digging, see what we come up with here. I, I, my gut tells me there was a little structure here after that. At least I'm hoping and praying that we start finding like some 1780s coins or something. <laughs> it might, might just goof up everything we did over there as far as knowing for sure. Got to find that palisade wall. I mean, that's really the only way to say for sure that we found it. We're working on it. Look down there. Probably really hard to see, but you can see some uh, tree, a tree that's laying down, and uh, it's all chewed up. That's from beavers. 
So there's some beavers down there swimming around and that's what they're eating. Beautiful little river, isn't it? What the heck is that? <laughs> Look at that. There's a car in the river down there. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll avoid that metal detector. It's funny because I was around the bank there a little while ago. I didn't even see it. Nice car, man. That's a fixer-upper for sure, huh? <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's get back to digging. We have, eh, we probably have a half an hour left. Nice little squeaker right here, kind of on the same hillside. Uh, there's so much modern stuff up here, though, I'm afraid to get the camera out. <laughs> I wonder why, Bo. Why are you afraid to get the camera out? Tell me, please. It's an electrical thing. All right, here's the deal, okay? We're running out of time before we have to get off the farm. Uh, this is a real good example of Todd and I have been having kind of like a friendly argument or discussion about this fort over here, what we think is the fort. You know, he's convinced we found it, which I really kind of am, but until we find definitive proof that it is a fort, built like a fort, we'll never ever know. We found, oh, so what do we find? We found melted lead, melted buttons, fired bullets, melted brass. Well, guess what? We found every all that right here on this side. And there's no way this is all the same fort. So, it just it just kind of proves my point in that you can find a lot of cool stuff and think you're you think you're on the right spot, but in reality you may not be. You need that you need that definitive proof. It's just going to be the stockade walls or you know a line of grays with uh, slaughtered people in it. You know skulls that have been tomahawked. And that might still be over there. We you know we're not giving up on that yet, but. There's a very similar site here, just much smaller, same type of stuff. Uh, I suspect it's a little bit later, but it just kind of drives the point home. All right, I'm going to try to get you three more targets that are old to maybe try to figure out if this is the right spot or not, if this is part of that or if this is newer or older or whatever. So let me quit talking, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, got a nice little squeaker right here. And um, hopefully it's something to help us identify the site's age um, better than, oh God, that is a uh, modern pistol, um, pistol bullet, probably like a 45 government. <laughs> That's not gonna help us. We didn't find any of those over there. Um, Todd says he has a little something. Let's go see what he has. Oh, okay. What do you think that is? Is it pewter or iron? I think it's iron. Yeah. Yeah, so I just I don't know. What's your machine tell you? Uh, iron. Iron, okay. Yeah. Yeah, some type of handle, isn't it? Yeah. We're finding stuff I and mean, we we still don't know. It still doesn't tell us that this is, you know, an older site, a newer site. It's part of that site. <sighs> Beautiful time to be out here though. Okay, got another squeaker to show you. I'm um, still in the, this general area. This is where everything seems to be coming out of modern stuff and some older stuff. Uh, you see the soil is nice and dark. There's actually a little spot down there where we're finding some things that it's black. So that was either a trash where they threw the trash or maybe the actual house stood there. Uh, got a nice little squeaker here. Started digging. I did pop out a square nail. Well, actually, yeah, it's a spade. Square, uh, got a spade end on it. The, uh, that's broken off to this end. Now, if it was a rose head, we could date it pretty, you know, with some confidence to be in the same uh, era of the uh, fort, or close to it at least. I'm going to keep that in a separate bag. Let me set it down here. But we do have a little squeaker right here. That's why I got you out. Same hole as that uh, nail. <laughs> I don't know. Is that it? All right. I definitely moved it. Well, unfortunately, it is pretty close to the surface. It's in this clod right here. It's in this. There's just so much. Oh no. Is that it? You find a lot of foil and stuff over here, too. You know, uh, there you go. Look at that, huh? So that's not foil. That is a. Uh, do believe it's going to be like a shoe buckle or some type of colonial era buckle. That's a nice little buckle there. Um, not sure the age of that. I mean, that could be 1750s. I, I just don't know. 
it's a lot thinner than I would suspect it would need to be. I still think this is later, later 1700s. Beautiful little buckle though. We'll look for the rest of it. Okay, I have my last target out of the ground. We're gonna look, look at it together. Uh, we're gonna have to get off the farm. Lots of stuff through here. Don't know about how old it is, but there's some type of structure. Todd did find a, a piece of a pocket watch, we think, right there. I think it's probably 1800s, early 1900s. Last quicker of the day, and then we have to roll. It's right in this stuff. And it's a beauty. <laughs> probably modern coin. <gasps> Lucky! <laughs> Best find of the day. That is a big old button, and that is like, I said, late 1700s. That's a button, you see the shank on the back, silvered front. Uh, definitely will post-date the uh, fort site. Hate to say it, but I think I called this one before we even started digging. Such a jerk, I know. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take off, we're gonna, we're gonna gather our stuff up. Uh, we'll come back here and hunt a little bit more, but I'm actually happy now that we found this big button that post-states that, so we know this is not we don't have to worry about mm, problems here.